All right, people. So I'm here with a SmackDown review, and again, another just bad show from WWE. More of the same shit. <clears throat> um, and one thing I did realize on this show, they had a bunch of like recaps from Raw. I mean, they put on the Bray Wyatt shit. They had uh, Cena and Rusev. They had, I believe, they had that on. They had um, Sting. That Sting promo again. Then they also they did an Orton interview, which I believe they usually post that on YouTube. Uh, I don't think that was, like, new. I think that that is um, posted on YouTube on, like, Wednesdays or something. So I'm pretty sure that wasn't a new. It might have been, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So, I mean, in reality, how many segments did we have? We had one, two, three, four, five, um, six segments about. And a lot of the segments were short, too. Um... But anyway, let me just get into the review here. To start off the show, we have Brian coming out, cutting a promo. And he's like, yeah, I'm fighting for the IC title. And it's been so prestigious because it's been held by guys like Mr. Perfect. You know, Randy Savage, Bret Hart, etc., etc., etc. I hate when fucking people do that. I hate it. Because that was fucking 30 years ago. They're trying to make it seem like I with the they do that with the IC title and US Championship. They're like, oh, it was held by Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock or whatever, you know. And it's just so annoying. And they try to make it seem like it's this great title. Yeah, that was fucking 10, 20, 30 years ago. It's about what happens now. All right. Yeah. How about oh, it's held by fucking Curtis Axel. It's held by you know a bunch of fucking jobbers. Kofi Kingston, um, just jobbers. Yeah, you know, the, the IC title and U.S. title are really prestigious. So they're trying to, trying to make it seem like it's all that prestigious. Um, and then everybody else involved in the match comes out and cuts like a minute promo. I mean, it wasn't anything good. Um, and then we get a little bit of a brawl here. And it was weird. They like brawled and then all the good guys are in the ring. And it looks like they're going to fight. And then, you know, the good guys cleared the ring of the bad guys. So all the baby baby faces were in the ring together. And it looked like they were going to fight. And then they just played the SmackDown theme. And the segment was over. It was very awkward. Uh, so, you know, opening segment wasn't that good. Then we have the Matadors defeating Team Fact. Or the Matadors and Team Fact defeating the Usos in the New Day. I mean, it's pretty much Cesaro and Kid uh, with six other retards. And actually, the match was uh, pretty good. Um, the one thing about uh, some of these tag teams who have horrible gimmicks, they're actually good wrestlers. Like the Matadors, they actually have some talent in the ring. It's just they're bogged down by that retarded-ass gimmick and that little midget bolt. So this match, it had some good moves in it. It had some nice dives outside the ring. Um, I'm glad Team Fact was on the winning team, but they should have gotten the pinfall. I mean... The Matadors fucking suck. The, the, you know, they're fucking jobbers. I mean, they, they should not have gotten the pinfall. And team fact, you know, they just fucking lost to the New Day. They need to get some momentum back. So, at least they won, but they should have gotten the pinfall here. So, I'll give this match 3 out of 5 stars. It was a pretty good match. And then we go to Ryback defeating Miz here. Just a bad match. I mean, Ryback is just fucking, ever since he returned, you know, he had some cheers there for a little bit. And then WWE had nothing to do with him, so now he's just wandering, wandering around with Eric Rowan. This match, again, was bad. I'll give it zero, 0 out of 5 stars. It was just shitty and boring. Then we have Roman Reigns coming out to cut a promo. Um, and then Mark Henry returns. Nobody even gives a shit. I mean, the reaction, I, he didn't even really get a reaction, I don't think. I mean, I didn't really give a shit. I mean, whoa, Mark Henry's back. Big fucking deal. And then he comes out and he's like, yeah, you you, you can't, uh, Roman Reigns. You don't have what it takes, whatever. You know, he's bashing Roman Reigns. It wasn't anything special. I kind of found it confusing. Um, you know, the whole promo and everything. You know, he's like kind of bashing Roman Reigns. Uh, you know, saying he's crazy or whatever. I don't know. You know, it, I don't know, it just felt confusing. It just felt weird and awkward, kind of. You know, like Mark Henry returns and just starts bashing Roman Reigns, whatever. Um, and, and he's saying, oh, you know, Lesnar's so great. Um, 
like I was kind of, you know, I don't know why, but it kind of felt like so confusing to me when I was watching it. <laughs> you know, it kind of felt weird. Uh, I mean, the crowd didn't really care, I don't think. I didn't really care. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, Reigns, uh, or, or Reigns gets pushed by Mark Henry or something like that. So then Reigns spears Henry through the barricade. That was a cool moment to see, you know, the, uh, the barricade, you know, through the barricade. I mean, we don't get to see moments like that that often. So that was cool. But, I mean, the promo was pretty shitty. So, I mean, overall, the segment wasn't that good. And you notice they don't even let Reigns get on the mic that much because they don't trust him. You know, like Heyman, they give mic time for like 15 minutes to Heyman because he actually knows what the fuck he's doing. Reigns, they don't even give, they give him the mic for like two minutes. You know, he's like, yeah, Paul Heyman says I can't, but I can. Like, <laughs> I mean, his promos are just so shitty. Then we have AJ and Paige defeating Summer Rae and Cameron. Just a boring fucking Divas match that nobody cares about. Zero, zero out of five stars here. Then we get Mark Henry backstage and he's like, this is this was kind of the confusing part, I guess, if you if you want to say it, say it like that. He's like, yeah, you know, I was saying Reigns was bad, but now I think he's great. You know, now I think he's got what it takes. You know, whatever. He's kind of just sucking his dick. See, see, here we go again. Just everybody is getting down. You know, bending over and letting you know to to Roman Reigns. You know, sucking his dick. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, Paul Heyman saying he's the second greatest of all time. Uh, Brian, you know, just putting him over. Uh, now it's Mark Henry. You know, he co comes out, says he sucks, and then 30 minutes later he says he's great. You know, he's like, oh, he's earned my respect. I just came out there to see what he's got. You know, I just came out there to get my ass kicked. I mean, that, 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 that was kind of the confusing part, I guess. But, you know, it, just all in all, the, the, the whole this whole Mark Henry and uh, Roman Reigns thing was stupid. It didn't really make any sense at all. You know, Roman, uh, Mark Henry just, you know, bowing down to the god, Roman Reigns. I mean, they should just fucking put a fucking statue of Roman, you know, where, where that WWE logo is on the, on the, um, on the ramp there. Uh, you know, that big 3D logo or whatever. They should just put a statue of Roman Reigns there instead. You know, and, and just say, the god, Roman Reigns. Uh, then we have the main event. It's, uh, Brian... Um, Ziggler and um, Ambrose defeating um, Bad News Barrett, uh, Stardust, and um, uh, Luke Harper. The match was all right. I mean, it had some good moves in there. Um, I'll give it two and a half out of five stars. Uh, I mean, nothing great or anything like that, but I mean, it, it, it was all right. Um, and then after the match, you know, there, there was a few good moves in there, I guess. Uh, you know, D. Ambrose had a few good moves, and he had a unique move where he kind of picked somebody, I think he picked Stardust up, and he, like, face-planted him in some cool way. He also had a cool move where he did, like, some, uh, mo uh, uh, so, some kind of suplex on the top rope where he kind of picked, um, I believe it was Stardust up and kind of just planted him face first again. It was, you know, so, so some cool moves, and then you had the suicide dive there with Ambrose, I believe it was, um, Brian and Ziggler went outside the ring, but Luke Harper came in and gave the boot to Ziggler, I believe it was. So, yeah, there was some cool moves in there. But then after the match, you know, you got fucking Ambrose and Ziggler, like, Daniel Bryan, you're a turd. I mean, what what the fuck? Where, 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 where does that come out of? I mean, does that make any sense at all? And that's just such a PG language there. You know, you're a turd. I mean... Was it, I don't know, was that supposed to be funny or was that supposed to be a heel move? I don't fucking know. I mean, it was it was stupid. And then that's when my fucking, I, I recorded it. And, and then the, the I guess it went over a little bit, so I didn't get to see what happened after that. I assume the show ended after that, but I don't fucking know. You know, my, my recording stopped there. But, um, I mean, it was stupid. It was like, yeah, you're a turd, Daniel Bryan. I mean, what is that supposed to mean? I mean, he's a turd. I mean... I mean, I guess it was a little bit funny. You know, people were laughing at it. But it, again, it didn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense really at all. Um, like a lot of things in, the, in, the, in this company, it didn't make any sense. So overall, the show was pretty shitty. You know, a good match between the tag, you know, the eight-man tag match. And uh, other than that, I mean, everything else pretty much sucked. 
So I'll give this show overall, I'll give it 2 out of 10 stars. A pretty shitty show tonight. And that's probably a generous rating too. I always, I always seem to do that. I always seem to overrate the ratings, I think. But I, I don't know. You, you know my opinions on the show. You know, I always give them. I mean, the rating is just fucking, you know, about an average what I think the show was. I guess 2 out of 10, maybe a little bit high. But whatever. You guys know I gave my opinions. I detailed what I think about this show. But there you go, people. There's my SmackDown review.